So you get lots and lots of fine granular sentences down low and then you just get nice big round numbers like 20 years and 30 years. Because people think logarithmically. Is that bad? Is that a problem? Like, is that a, a weakness of the justice system or is that how it should be? I do think it's a bit unfair, actually. I do think it's a bit unfair because what if you committed a crime that was just a little bit worse than a 20-year sentence? Does that mean that you deserve 22 years? You know, I think, I think that actually having that sort of flexibility to, to, to use the entire spectrum is a bit fairer, yeah. So in the early days of the uh, British justice system, they only gave out sentences in stretches of seven years, and it was because, previously, uh, you'd send everyone in a ship off to Australia, and so it wasn't worth doing less than seven years, because, you know, they'd have to bring them back, so there's also so much hassle. So it was seven years, 14 years, 21 years. And then when they started bringing in prisons to, to Britain as a sort of cheaper way um, than sending everyone to the, to the colonies, uh, they, they kept that system, until um, until the Victorians really sort of thought about it and were like, actually, you know what, giving out sentences in these big incremental chunks is kind of actually really unfair. And the thing is, is that, you know, to some extent, we're still doing it now. Seven years in Australia, lovely. Great, I know. Send me to Sydney, please. It'd be amazing. <laughs> in a cool place when there's a draw mart, megalosaur teeth. I don't have one of those at home. All right. So these are the Nashers, pretty substantial. Yeah, it's a pretty big one. This is a really nice one because it shows the, the serrations along the edge really oh, clearly. Yeah. They're pretty sharp. You feel how sharp that is, yeah. even now, yeah. 167 million years later.